Okay guys, so we're going to do a presentation on size and conductor based on the ambient temperature, capacity, and duration factor. All right, so our presentation is brought to you by the Visual Society of Engineers. All right, so the minimum required capacity will be determined based upon 310.15b16 of the table within the article of the National Electrical Code, all right? So in determining that size, we got a two art conductor of THH value or THHN. THHN is the value of the temperature on the conductor. So we're gonna look at the table of 310 15 B16 that is within the 90 degrees Celsius column for the value of this conductor. All right, so I'm going to look in the table to determine that value of that conductor. All right, so where's 200 amps is concerned? I'm just going to run my figure down towards 200 amps. However, the closest value that I'm able to get to this 200 amps circuit breaker is 195 amps. All right, so to my left, within the first column where the size of the conductor is, that would have been at what? All right, so that is quite straightforward. But as you see, we only get 195. Amps. If we can go back to Article 240.5, we would understand that rather 240.4 would be that we understand that when you size in conductor less than 800 ampere, the breaker size somewhat can be greater than the size of the conductor. However, if you notice, the value is always within the proximity or closest to the value of that circuit breaker. So we have 195 amps, so that closest value we can get is 2 watt. If this breaker, our conductor, is supposed to exceed the value of the breaker, then it would be sensed quite easily, right? Anything too far out of range, would not provide sensitive action where the breaker can actually be activated. All right, so that is how we obtain this value. Now, the second question is, what is the minimum size THH conductor permitted to terminate on a 70 amp circuit breaker or fuse if the circuit breaker and the equipment terminal are listed for 75 degrees? Celsius conductor sizing. Now, this rules for um, terminating conductor within a terminal is very important. Whenever you have a terminal, whatever conductor you, you um, terminate within that terminal should be of the same temperature or greater of the conductor or else the value for the temperature of the conductor is going to take precedence over the temperature of the conductor. Now, in the case of THHN, the value of that temperature of that conductor is actually 90 degrees Celsius. So, of course, it's going to exceed the value of the temperature of the equipment terminal. So, this is how we interpret this. We have a 70 amp circuit breaker fuse. If the circuit breaker and equipment terminal is for 75 degrees Celsius, we're gonna look within the table 310, 15, B16, all right? And we're gonna look for the value for the process um 
THH conductor within the range of 70 amps. All right? Remember the rules is that the conductor of amplitude 800 ampere or less. We're okay to actually size it, size it within the proximity of that breakout. That means we don't have to make it exact, but in some case, it can be greater, it can be equal. All right? But this is only time we will consider the breaker size a little bit greater than the conductor, the ampacity, the ampacity of the conductor. All right? So looking in the table, 3, 10, 15, B, 16, we're going to look for 70 amps for THHN, and that's 90 degrees Celsius column. All right? So as I said, the, the value closest to 70 amps would have been 75. All right? So that would have been a 6 AWG conductor. Right? Can we go to 55 amps matching to the 8AWG? 8, 8, 8 no. That is within our way out of our range. Okay? So the best conductor we can choose for the 70 amp circuit breaker would have been 75 amps. All right? Matching to a 6AWG. Right, so anything too far out of range is not appropriate to choose as a right conductor for the circuit breaker. Right, so that is how we determine the, um, the value for the conductor that is of EHHF. Next question we're going to look at is number three what is the opacity of a one odd conductor? XHH W dash two conductor. If the ambient temperature is 108 degree Fahrenheit. All right. So we're going to go back to table 310 15 B16 as well as B2. Right. So we're going to use these two tables and we're going to find the value of the conductor, right? And pass it, that is required for uh, XHH W2 conductor. So first thing, ambient actually changes the value of the conductor based upon the amount of current that is going to flow within it. So when we have hot ambience or temperature or surrounding, we tend to have excess resistance within a circuit or a conductor. So the current value tend to be lost. All right. So we're going to look at 31015B16, and we're going to find the value for a one hour conductor of XHHW2. And as determined, this value under the XHH, that is third column of the temperature rating of the conductor, 90 degrees Celsius, that would have determined, determined rather to be 170 amps. All right? And then we're going to also go to the ambient adjustment table where we're going to find out what the, the adjusting value is going to be. All right. So for the 90 degree column for the XHHW2 for 108 degree Fahrenheit, we can see where this value is going to be 0.87. All right. So we're going to take this value of 0.87 to times it by 170 amps and then we're going to be adjusted to a value 
of 147.9 amps. So that is how this works to give us this um, adjustment. All right, so the effect of the ambient on the conductor reduce the value of 170 amps to 147.9 amps. The next thing we're going to look at is question four. What's the adjusted ampacity of 10 THHN conductor when nine current carrying conductor are installed in a raceway or a cable? So 10 THHN or rather 9 THH and 10, 10 AWG within a raceway, right? The effect of having that numbers within a raceway would have devalue or derate the opacity of the conductor. All right? So we're going to use table 31015B16, 31015B3 as well to find the value of the conductor when it is being adjusted due to the bundling effect all right so currently for nine conductor we need an adjustment value of 70 percent all right so the next thing we're going to look at is the value of the conductor at 10, 10 AWG THHN, and that is 40 amps. So simply, the adjustment would have been 0 0.70 times 40 amps, which would have been 28 amps. All right. So the effect of the bundling actually reduces the value of the conductor. Now, question five, what is the opacity of four current carrying conductor for eight THHN conductor installed in an ambient temperature when the temperature value is 100 degree Fahrenheit? All right, so we're going to use 31015, B16, B2, and B3. All right. So we're looking at the effect of conductor bunching together and also the effect of the ambient surrounding on this conductor. So we're going to find out the value of a THHN 8 number size or 8 AWG within 31015B16 and see what this value is going to be. All right. So for number eight, within the THHN column, 90 degrees Celsius column, that would have been 55 amps. All right. And next, we want to find the, the, uh, the derating value for four conductor bundling. All right, that would have been 80 or 8%, which is 0 0.80 of the value. All right, and next thing I'm going to look at is the ambient adjustment for 100 degree Fahrenheit. All right, so this value would have been 0 0.19 or 0.91 rather. So we're going to take off three values including the 55 amps taken from 31015 b16 and 0 0.80 for the um four conductor our uh, derating factor and the ambient adjustment of 0.91 right so finally we'll get 40 amps All right, so the next question I'm going to look at here is 
the opacity, what is the opacity of a 10 THHN conductor when there are eight current carrying conductor installed in the same raceway in a dry location and the ambient temperature is 100 degree Fahrenheit? All right, so this one, all we do need to do is to find the value of a 10 THHN conductor and the value of eight conductor within a raceway and the temperature adjustment for um, the ambience of 100 degree Fahrenheit. So basically, going from the table, um, 310.50 B16. You can see all right, so 310.50 B16. You can see where we have this adjust this value for the 10 A double G to be um 40 amps. All right, and the next one we're going to look at is the value for the conductor bundling for it in a raceway. All right, and that would have been 70 or 0 0.70, right, for the adjustment factor. Next, we're going to look at the temperature adjustment at 100 degree Fahrenheit, which should have been 0.19. A point nine one. All right. So that value is just taken and multiplied together to get a final value of twenty five amps. Right. So that's it, folks. We thank you for um, taking the opportunity to look into this presentation because this one is something that you need in terms of sizing conductor and appropriately, you know, installing them within electrical circuit to provide protection for your load all right so we thank you for taking the opportunity to um listening on this presentation so please visit us at the vigilance society of engineers for more information on sizing conductor based on opacity derating factor and ambient all right so thank you again and subscribe to our channel as we want to provide you with more content like this. Take care and I'm out. Thanks.